Good morning, everybody. Um, hope you had a good weekend. Um, today, we're going to continue working on lesson 11. Um, has to do with navigation. Um, a couple of things uh, where we left off is that we were adding anchor tags to um, uh, the events page. So the return to top but we didn't specify, we haven't specified yet where that top is. So we need to continue with that. And then the next thing that we'll do, it's the last part and probably the most difficult part of this lesson um, is adding a drop down menu for um, green events. So right now, when you select green events, it's a single um, link, just like all the others, but we wanna add a drop down menu. So um, we already added the return to top and you can see that we have um, the link to this. When it's an internal link that, is, uh, that, you're, that you're using um, to an anchor tag, it's hashtag or Octothorpe, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and then in this particular case, the name is top but we haven't specified top. So to do that, we need to go to our um, template because remember that the, the header and the nav bar is locked down. So in order to do that, you need to select the row, the div row. So I've done that. And then um, we're gonna add the, um, the, the ID to it. So to do that, I hit command. Once that's selected, I hit command T. And then notice where it says div space class row. Well, right before row or class rather, I'm going to put in um, ID equals and then quote top end quote and then space. And I'll hit the return key and we're done, okay? Now, when I select the nav bar now, or actually the row, I come back in here and let's go back and select the row. You can see that it's been renamed hashtag.row. And if I come back in and I click any part of this, um, just to let you know, I've been having troubles this morning and yesterday in preparation for this, um, getting some of this to work. So it, it, I believe it's all working. Um, so we may um, run into some difficulties today, but I'm gonna go ahead and work, try to work through it. I'm gonna go ahead and save all, okay? <clears throat> and again, when you do that to the, um, to the template, this is what you wanna see. Make sure that you update files that have, you know, child pages that have been created from the template. So I'm gonna go ahead and update them all. We can go ahead and start and close. Now let's go back to um, um, the events page and let's go ahead and save it. Make sure that it's saved and let's test it to make sure that these um, return to top work. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go under file after I've saved the page and I'm gonna go real-time preview and I'm gonna go ahead and use Firefox. And there it is in a window up here and I'll pull it down. So here's our events page and I scroll down and it says return to top and notice that it goes to the top. So that one is working. So that new um, ID tag worked for us. It sends it to the top. We can also, when we add our um, green events drop down menu, what we will do is we'll specify in the links of that drop down that we want it to go to the, <clears throat> to the um, ID tag that we added to the calendar and to the um, classes down here. So if you recall um, what we did the other day, if I were to select anywhere in here, and let's go ahead and select the table. Make sure that the table is selected. Remember we added um, the ID classes and to this one and we added calendar to the top one. Well, that's what we're gonna work on next. 
So this one gets a little bit tricky. So I'm hopeful that everything works here. I'm gonna switch from CSS designer back to files. And I'm gonna go back to our template. And what I need to do now um, is before we add that drop down menu is one of the things that they'd like us to add in here. And it's not a bad idea is that when you scroll, um, let's go back to the events page, I'm sorry. Is that when you're at the top of the page and you wanna to go to the bottom of the page, notice that the, um, the nav bar um, scrolls along with the rest of the page. Well, we want it locked so that it, even when you scroll, that the nav bar remains at, locked at the top of the page and fixed. So that's what we're going to do next. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I have to go back to, again, the template to do that. And what I want to do is I want to select somewhere in here in the nav bar. So I'm going to select um, nav bar nav. Let's see what this one is. Not that one. I want um, container fluid. No, I don't want that one. Div. This is where I was having problems. We should be able to just click in here. And it's the little buttons are dropping down. And I don't understand that. It should be. Um, I don't want nav bar nav. I want the nav bar default here. So that, this is the one that I want. That's it. So this is what I want. And why it's not allowing me to select it from up here, I don't know. It's really kind of bizarre. But what we want to do now is with that, you know, nav and it's dot nav bar dot nav bar default, we are going to add um, or change properties of that. So again, like I did with the other, I'm going to hit Command T. And I don't want it to wrap. So let me click on that. Let's go back in here. Select that. There we go. Command T. There we go. It's up here. So what we're going to do is right after the, de the default nav bar, um, the nav bar default. I'm going to go ahead and click right here. And I'm going to add a space. And I'm going to select uh, um, right in here, nav bar. If I can spell nav bar um, hyphen fixed um, hyphen top. And um, all of this, wait a minute, the class nav bar, yeah, needs to be in quotes. So not default, default, get, the quote gets removed from here and it gets put after top. There we go. And notice what just happened. The entire nav bar extended across here. So that now when we save everything, and again, when we scroll and the page extends far beyond just the, the initial um, uh, presence of the page, you know, when you load it in the browser, that it will remain fixed to the top of the page. Um, that's optional. It's not necessary, but it's a nice um, to know that you have that option to use. So. What I want to do now is that you'll notice that part of the header is missing. That it doesn't, we need to add space up here. So to do that, I need to go back to CSS designer. And I'm going to add um, to green styles. And this is to the header dot row. So let's see where we can find this. I'm going to go ahead and filter and I want it to be header. Uh, wait a minute, make sure that I don't want all sources. I want green styles and I want global. And I'm going to go ahead and put in here header. Header dot row. This is the one that I want. And we're going to add margins to the top. So in the margin, we're going to, um, we need to add a, um, a property to the rule. And so the margin to the top, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add um, 52 pixels. 
How do we know it's 52? Because the book tells us so. Okay, and notice that that just dropped down and works very nicely now. Okay, so that's the first thing that we want to do. Now the next part, which is, as I said, I'm crossing my fingers that I don't make too many mistakes today. But this is where we're going to add the drop down menu and make sure that all of that works. Um, it's a very awkward way of working, and it's kind of a roundabout, kind of a circuitous way that they have us add it. And it's not something that you can do immediately. Um, you know, just click here and change green events to a drop down menu like you can in Wix or you can in Moby Rise. It doesn't work that way. Um, we have to jump through lots of hoops in order for this to work. So before I move on, I need to make sure that I save. Um, save all. And again, I get the update warning and I want to make sure that it is updated. And I'll go ahead and it's all done. So now I can close that. And now let's go to the events page to see how that's changed and see how that's changed there. That when I scroll up and down, that the nav bar now remains fixed. Okay. So the next step. We need to now um, make sure that I go through all of the steps accordingly. So this is styling a drop down menu. And again, I need to go back to um, my green template. And I want to make sure that I have um, files selected. And we can't do it directly in the template itself. We have to make a copy of the template as an HTML page. We have to detach it from the template, make the changes, copy the nav, and then paste it into the original template. And then, then it will work. It's a, again, it's a very complicated way to work. And um, unfortunately, uh, that's the way it goes. So I'm gonna take the template page and I'm gonna select File, Save As. Okay. And I'm going to save it as an HTML page. Okay, I don't want it to be a page. I want it to, well, I guess I can save it as a page. I don't want it, a, I want it as a, um, a temp, not a template. Um, I want it to be a page. Um, hold on here. Let me pause my recording one second. Okay, doke. So what I need to do is I need to create a new file from the template. So this is just going to be um, saved in here from my green template. And I'm going to go ahead and create. Okay, and we're going to save this as um, dropdown.html. That's what the, the book suggests, and it's not a bad idea. But where you save it so that we don't get confused is going to be inside the template folder. Okay, so I'm going to name this dropdown.html. Okay, and make sure that it's saved in the template folder. There we go. So you can see that it's in here. Okie doke. Now, because this is a child page um, from the template, um, I can't change anything just yet. But in order to make changes to the nav bar, what I can do is I can switch from live view to design view. And I can go to tools and I can go to templates and I can say detach from template. That's what I wanna do. So this is no longer attached to the template. Okay, now I can go back to live view. And now I'm ready to um, go ahead and next to the green events, add a drop down menu from the bootstrap properties. So I can go ahead and go to um, insert and make sure that I have bootstrap components selected. I'm gonna go ahead and select green events. Okay, and with green events selected, 
Okay. I want to make sure that I can scroll down here and it's under nav. Okay. And you'll notice that we have navigation. I want under nav under navigation, there are several options here. I want um, nav pills with drop down. That's what I want. Okay. So that's what I'm going to add. And I want it to be after the selection of the green events. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that that is added, make sure that it's fully compatible. And because I've, you know, extended beyond everything, you'll notice that it says has, um, I have my drop down menu here, which is what I want. But um, I've added these pills that I need to get rid of. And then the next step will be to style this. And this is the, the difficult part. And then once I get rid of the pills, once I get rid of green events, um, and I replace what we have here in drop down. In fact, I can do that right now. I'll just name that um, green events. Let's put a space in there. Okay, I'll come down here and do it and from the code view. There we go. Okay, so now we have two green events and we have these pills that we need to get rid of. And so each of these are list items. I can get rid of those. Um, I can go ahead and I can select um, each of the pills, so I can select this one, okay? And I wanna go ahead and I'm gonna just do this from code view. So this is pill one, I'll get rid of that. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of pill two. But I still have um, an issue here that the book addresses. And it's something that um, Dreamweaver does, and there's really no explanation for it. I guess I can get rid of green of the first green events too. So let's go ahead and do that while I'm at it. So I'll go ahead and select this first green events. And I'll get rid of that. Okay, so that's gone. It adds a bit of extra code that we don't want. So if I go to, I think it was um, line 43, 44 in the code. Yeah, it's this right here where it says um, UL and UL class nav bar nav. Um, I'm going to make sure of that. So I'm going to pause real quick. Yep, I was right. Um, it's line 43 and 44. So it's added this extra code right here. It's a closing tag for the unordered list and a opening tag for an ordered list right here. And we need to get rid of that in order to make sure that all of this works. And notice that it's all on one line now which is where it should be. Um, that was, we were having problems because it was on a second line because it added that unnecessary code. Okie doke. So we fixed everything. Now we need to style this because when I, you know, when we click on here and we add the drop down toggle and that sort of thing, that it's not gonna be formatted correctly. Um, the, the button itself looks good but the underlying um, dropdown, we'll notice in a minute, is not working correctly. So what we need to do is let's go ahead and let me pause one more time just to make sure that I'm in the right place. Yeah, so now, now what we're doing is we're adding styles to this dropdown menu that the default version looks fine, but when we actually drop if we were to um, save this and to preview it in the browser, um, 
let me go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and um, let's see if I can't open it from here. Um, no, let's go ahead. So that's the drop down toggle. Let's go ahead and change it for this first. So what I need to do is let's go to CSS Designer and then we'll come back to that and make sure that it works for us. So what we need to do is I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I have um, green style selected, global. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a selector. And what we want here is, um, again, because we added that, uh, that ID that's going to have to be added here. So what I want is um, hashtag top, and then I want space dot drop down. Hyphen menu. And then I want um, forward carrot and then I want list item, and I want forward caret, and I want A to be changed. So the A is for link. Make sure that that works. Double click a couple of times. Here we have it. Let's make sure that that's selected properly. Now we have to add the, pro the um, necessary properties. We're going to start by adding padding of 10 pixels. And we're going to just use the, um, uh, the shorthand method. So it's 10 pixels all the way around. Okay. And the next step is going to be add color of the text. So we go to the text. And color is going to be the yellow that we use. That should be the FFC. So we'll change that. And then text align, we want to make sure that that is centered. Okay, background color is 08A, so we'll select background so that it matches everything that we've done up to this point. So we want um, 08A. There we go, add that. So there's our background color. And then border top. So let's go to our borders, let's go to the border top. We want it to be solid for the style. And we want it, um, the size or the width rather to be one pixel. So we'll go ahead in here and change that. There we go. And the color we want to be 09E, okay? that blue. So I'll go ahead and I'll add that. And there we go. Okay, now the border bottom is going to be close, but a little bit different. Um, we also want the style to be solid. And we want the, um, the width to be one pixel. And the color this time though, is going to be 069, which is a color that we've used before. There we go. So I'll go ahead and I'll add that to our color. And there we go. Okie doke. So we've added that selector. Um, then let me pause again, make sure that I know where I'm at here. We have to add one more selector now. Um, let's go ahead here. Again, for this, let's go ahead and add another one. Make sure that green styles and um, global are selected. And I'm going to add another one. And this time, this is going to be top. It's going to be, so I use the hashtag TOP. 
space and then dot drop down menu hyphen menu um, space um, and then that's it I want to go ahead and add that in the padding I want to be um, zero pixels okay so let's go ahead and add that and we're going to add padding Let's go back here. Padding zero pixels. Zero PX. There we go. So I'm hoping that everything is working out okay. So the next result, let's go ahead here and let's um, click Come on, why isn't the submenu opening? Well, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and save everything. Cross my fingers, save all. And let's see what we have here. So now if I click, <clears throat> you can see that we have um, the colors that we need. We have the text that we need, but we have um, an extra information down here, separated link that we need to get rid of. And there's gonna be some extra space that we need to get rid of as well. But our drop down menu is working, it's nice. So, so far so good. Okay, so let's go back and that's working okay. So I said this gets kind of complicated. So I wanna make sure that I have everything working here. Um, in fact, we could get rid of the separator. We can do that in a minute. But the next part is a little bit tricky in styling this thing. So we need to make sure that this is open and it's not opening for me, so why not? Let's go ahead and hide live view displays. And I'm gonna go ahead and click. And there you go, by hiding the live view displays, now that opens. But in order to get rid of some of this stuff and to style the opening of this properly, we have to um, freeze the JavaScript. Okay, so that where that was is that we go back over here and where we have live view displays. When I turn that off, see how that remains open? I don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and close it. Let's go back again, make sure that we have that. I want hide live view displays and it closes. So we want to leave this open in order to make these changes. Okay, so let's go back and open this up. Let's go back up here and let's go to um, this little button right here. It says live open views. I want to hide live open displays so that I'm able to now right click on this. And I want to where is it? I should be able to right click on here. And why doesn't it allow me to do that? Let's go ahead and do that again. Hide displays. Now I can right click here. And I want to, there we go. We can, um, I, I've hidden live view displays. I'm, I apologize here, I'm trying to do this. I wanna now disable JavaScript. There we go. But before I did that, I probably, I goofed up. So let me go back. Let's um, turn that back off. Let's go ahead and um, open this back up. So let's go back here. Um, 
turn off hide view displays. Click on here. Oh, come on. There, leave it open. Let's go ahead and turn that back off. And now what I want to do is I want to click on here and I got to do that again. Let's leave that back open. And I need to freeze JavaScript. There we go. So I froze in JavaScript. Notice up here, it says um, JavaScript is frozen resume um, um, F6. So this is now frozen and left open. And now we can go ahead and we can fix the rest of this thing, okay? Because when we hover over this, you know, most of this is working, but not everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause for a second get my bearing. Um, so let me go back and record. And I want to get rid of the, the role of the separator. So we want to only leave action and another action. So I'm going to get rid of these two right here. And come back up. Bring that back up. Come back up here. And let's try again. Let's bring that open. And I got to go back again. So let's go back up here. And let's unfreeze. Let's go back and show. There we go. Let's go back here and let's again select. There we go. So I've gotten rid of that down there, which is good. Um, so I've gotten these guys. Now let's go ahead and with this left open to make sure that the on the hover state that it changes correctly. That's what's left in this. I'm going to go back again. I'm going to hide live displays. I'm going to go back again. I'm going to freeze JavaScript. There we go. So now we can fix what we have down here. So now what we need to do is that we want to click anywhere in here, I guess. Let's just select an action in here. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to select the rule. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new one, actually. And um, the one that I want to create now is, again, make sure that it's green styles global. I'm going to go ahead and select the plus. And I want this one to be, um, again, um, hashtag top and space dot open because now this is in the open state. This is, that's why this part gets complicated. And that now I need to put the, uh, the forward carrot um, a comma, and then I'm gonna repeat this hashtag top. And also um, I want top dot open um, and I want a uh, forward carrot and I want um, a visited. Hit the return key a few times. So now what I want to do, select here. And I want to change the background color to 069. So for this, when I click here, um, is notice that we want to make sure that on hover state we want 069. So I'm going to change the background color to 069. Okay, I think we got everything working here. We'll see you in a minute. Okie doke. So now I'm ready to test this and to check and to make sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back here and I need to make sure that I turn on hide live view displays. 
go back again, unfreeze JavaScript. And now when it hovers, I'm in good shape. Okay, so I think everything is working properly. It looks correct to me. Now the next step is to add links to this. And then the final step will be, and we should be able to complete this today, which is nice, is um, once we've added our links, so let's go ahead and open this. And I'm going to come down here to where we have action. And right now we just have um, <clears throat> uh, a placeholder, which is the Octothorpe. But we want this, oh, well, let me go ahead and change the name of this too. We want this to go to, um, uh, what is it? Instead of action, it's going to be, hold on here. Let me pause here. I think the first one is calendar, is that right? Let me go back to events. So the first one was class schedule. And then the second one was um, the classes. There we go. So it's um, class schedule and then, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. First one is event schedule, class schedule. So events, and then event schedule, class schedule. So I'll go ahead and ch change that. So let's go back to our drop down menu. So I want this one to be events schedule. So I'm just highlighting that events. Um, or maybe it's just schedule. So if I have to go back and change that, I can do that. <clears throat> and then the next one for the other one is going to be classes. C L A S S E S. There we go. Let's go ahead and close that. Let's open it back up. So there we go, schedule and classes. So now what we need to do is to link in there. So instead of the Octothorpe here, what I can do is I can come in here. So let's click on this one. In there. <clears throat> and notice that it has the Octothorpe and now I can do what we've done before. I can go to files and we want it to go to um, our events page. So I'll start with that. Okay, so it's going to events. But then what I want it to do is I want it to go to the calendar, right? That was what we named the first one and the other one with the classes. So events.html. And then I put in here Octothorpe calendar. Okay. And then the next one, we're going to go ahead and highlight in here as well. And this one is going to go to the same events page. So I'll go ahead and I'll drag the pointer to it. But this one is going to go to specifically the anchor that we created that we named classes. So I put in Octothorpe, which is the ID for that, and we'll put in classes. Okay. So it looks like we have everything set to go. We're ready to go. Um, now what we want to do is we want to take everything that we've created here Let's go ahead and make sure it's all saved. That would be a good idea. Well, save all. Okay. And I'm going to bring this down here. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. So that looks good. That looks good. Um, yeah, okay. So if I were to 
clicked in here. Notice how it went to schedule and I click here. Let's see, it's not because this isn't attached to the, um, uh, the template, it doesn't, it, the rest of it doesn't work just yet. So what we need to do now is we need to select the entire, um, in here, um, we're gonna select the entire um, nav bar. So let's go back in here. Let's just click anywhere in here. Um, let's see, I want the whole nav bar selected. And this is where I was having problems the other day and I'm continuing to have problems today. So let me switch from live view to um, design view and see if that doesn't help. And so now I have the entire um, nav bar selected, but I want it selected from live view, okay? So let's make sure that it is, the whole thing is selected. And it looks like it is, we'll find out in a minute. And I want, with the whole thing selected from live view, I'm gonna go ahead and select Command C for copy. And now I'm gonna to go to um, our green template. And again, I wanna make sure that the whole nav bar fix top is selected and I'm going to paste and see what happens and it didn't work. So I'm gonna pause again, I'm gonna resume the recording, but this is where I was having problems the other day too, that it's just not allowing me to select what I want. If I click anywhere inside here, you know, I mean, normally if I wanna select parts of that, let's go ahead and select the whole thing in here. And it looks like everything is selected. Now I'm gonna hit Command C for copy so that it copies the whole thing. Now what I wanna do is I wanna go back to the template. And again, I wanna make sure that the whole nav is selected here and I'm going to paste. Now, do I have the green events switched? No. So let's undo. Let's go back again. And we may have to call it quits for today until I can get this working here. And then we should be set to go. So that's the last step. And it's the one that's sometimes it's the hardest because it's Dreamweaver that gives us fits. Um, this is the default um, nav bar one collapse, nav bar collapse. Let's see what it is in the template here. Now this is fixed top. So again, it could be because I, there we go. I don't have every, I want this. Um, Let's see, let's go back again, click in here, click anywhere in here, make sure that the div default nav bar one collapse nav bar collapse is selected and copied. There we go. Let's go back to the template. Let's make sure that the same thing is selected here. And let's go ahead and paste. And it didn't get rid of the old one. So that's a problem. So now I got to go back and that's the second one, which is kind of bizarro. Let's take the first one here and let's get rid of it. 
Um, it should have replaced the old with the new. So let's go back and make sure that it is selected. And we got that one um, there. So I'm going to go ahead and select the div and delete it. There we go. So now we have it replaced. Not easy, huh? So um, we've run up to the end of our hour and I'm going to save all to the template. File, save all. Should update all of the pages. I can close. And now let's go back to our events page. Um, or even, a, a, it doesn't matter which page. Let's go back to any one of these. And you'll notice that the drop down menu is visible now on the events page that we created. And if we go to the about page, that the drop down menu is available there. So um, we have a bit of a, a problem here with our spacing. So there's something that needs to change. But um, let's go ahead and test this and see what we have. And then I'll fix it. And then Thursday, we'll come back and I'll see if I can't um, fix any changes that we, oh, no, it's OK. Because here we go ahead here. So here we are on the About page. Now I can click right here. And while that's jumping down, I don't know why. Let's go to Schedule, and it takes us there. And it didn't update the page. So uh, there's something still I goofed up for, the, for that. So if I go back, let's go back and yeah, because this is still, we can go to the classes and it went to the classes, but once it goes to the classes, it's not updating. So on those pages, those have not been updated. So what I could do is refresh the page. So let's go back again to classes. Yeah, see how it's not changing on those pages. So that's where I need to go back and fix it. So I'm getting close, but no cigar. OK, we're very close. Um, this afternoon, I'll work on it and see where um, something I missed when I'm talking to all of you. And I'm pretty sure I can fix it and determine what went wrong. And then I'll come back on Thursday and we'll finish this up. OK, any questions? Um, I know this is a bit awkward and a bit complicated. Um, so let me go back here because all those pages should have um, been updated. Okay, so on this page, which is our about page, and I click on here. And why that, that drop down toggle is kind of bizarro. I don't know why. It might be a JavaScript issue. Um, you know, that were, uh, or a newer bootstrap that was inserted that could be part of the problem. So we'll see what happens. If I go to events, let's go ahead and save the events page and let's test it before I say goodbye today. So I'm going to go ahead to file, real time preview, and I want, let's just try um, Safari and see what happens. Yeah, we have an issue. There's too much of a gap here. So if I go ahead here to events, okay, let's go to um, classes. That should take us down here, but notice it is, it is replaced. So let's go to a, oh, we have two events. So why is that there? That never got removed. Let's go to our homepage. That's not found because that wouldn't, we wouldn't, don't have a homepage. Let's go to green tips. Let's come back here and let's say go to green schedule. That takes us there. So we're all good from here. So in this browser, everything is working, but I have way too big a gap down here. And why that is, I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and check things. So let's go back here. 
And let's go to schedule. And it takes us to the schedule. And if I go back here, I go to classes, it takes us to the classes. And if I go to about us, it takes us there. And so now everything is working. So it may have been that um, in cache that, that wasn't refreshed, but I still have an issue with the space between the, the, um, the header and the rest of this. And I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, so I'll need to go back and, and fine tune it and fix it. So that's pretty much it for today. Um, do If you don't have any questions, I'm going to say goodbye and you guys are free to leave. And I'll go ahead and I'll pause the recording and I will post this um, in a little bit. Okay. Okay. No questions? No. It's very complicated and um, very sensitive. So that's all I can say. Be um, struggle with it until you make it work. And we'll talk more on um, Thursday about publishing lesson 11. Okay. So I'm going to pause the recording. Say goodbye.